It wasn't the biggest surprise of E3 in 2014, but fans were nonetheless extremely excited for a new look at The Legend of Zelda on the Wii U. One question has popped up ever since the E3 Nintendo Digital event, though. Was the footage taken from in-game? Producer Uji Oniyama has taken to the Nintendo Miiverse to address this point directly. Many people from the media kept asking me if the footage from the new Zelda game for the Wii U was just a promotional movie. But that really is actual gameplay on Wii U, he assures. Also, I wasn't kidding about how you will be able to reach the mountains that appear in the distance if you should choose to. The Legend of Zelda for Wii U does not yet have a subtitle and is currently slated for 2015. Okay, so now this was actual gameplay footage that they showed for this trailer, and it looked awesome! I mean, you could see the details in the grass blowing back and forth, I mean, you could see a few buildings in the background, and they say you can actually get to the far mountains in the background if you wanted to. And of course, if you look at the layout in the background of the first image that they show, it does look like the same layout as possibly the Ocarina of Time Zelda map. I like that they're going this much detail for the actual game, because it's about as open world as the Skyrim game is. The main character in The Legend of Zelda Wii U sure looks like longtime hero Link, but producer is teasing that this may not be the case. No one explicitly said that this was Link, he told GamesBeat, leading to speculation that the blue turnicked champion from the trailer isn't our familiar hero. The main candidate that seems to be cropping up is Zelda, with some suggesting that the character looks like her alter ego Sheik, minus the scarf and cap. Of course, this doesn't mean Link isn't the star of the upcoming game, and the producer could just be being vague for the time being. In another interview, he said the Link featured in the trailer is not a woman, and that the comments he made about the character's identity weren't mean to be taken seriously. It seems like it was kind of taken off where people were saying, oh, it's a female character, and it just kind of grew, he told MMGN, but my intent in saying that was humor. He added that Link was meant to represent the player, and he doesn't want fans to focus on the character so much as they lose sight of the other elements of the trailer. So, I could see where some people are wondering if this main character shown in this trailer is actually Link or not, because it has some feminine looks about the face and area. Yeah, this is going to be actually Link that was shown in the trailer, so people don't have to worry about that. Although some people are still questioning whether Link is going to be a guy or a girl. Now, I'm guessing you can look at Link as somebody who could be either. Except, I think, in some versions of the Legend of Zelda games where it is a guy. But, yeah, this Link does look like it could be different. Because, as you, as you can probably tell by the trailer itself, this Link doesn't exactly have the Master Sword or his usual shield. He's just... looks like he's kind of starting off in the world.